the real issues is actually gastrointestinal issues. What would the protocol be for for um, bicarb in, ingestion? Because I've used it myself, you've used it myself and uh, yourself and lots of other people have, but there's lots of different responses. There's been advancements in protocols over the years that do that. You know, what... What should, what is the latest? You know, what should we be doing to to kind of maximize that, or is that very individual? I think it's still very individual, but like as a rule of thumb, um, and I don't have myself an individual protocol, but I usually like would so would start like with taking it two hours and a half to three hours before, um, and then finish like two hours and ninety minutes before to really make sure that I get the most out of it because needs um, some time to get absorbed especially for shorter events uh, you don't want it to be still absorbed while you're doing the event um, so the ideal um, total amount you have is around 0 0.3 grams per um, kilo of body mass um, so i don't know like around 20 grams would be for me which is kind of a lot when you're having like the capsules so that's why i kind of split it into multiple doses like two times 10 with like half an hour in between or an hour in between to make it easier drink a lot of water and here is one of the things of why you really need to go low sodium because sodium bicarbonate is sodium plus bicarbonate so you will retain some water because of that um, and you need to be low in sodium so that the amount of water you will retain perhaps will make you have the same amount of water as you usually have but not more than that um, but i would probably be arguing that in most events the extra weight will not hinder the performance because you will get more out of the performance gains um, so definitely recommend it but again like it's not the best idea to try it on the race day. Try it out in training and see how it works, how you feel about it, and then decide whether you're going to use it or not. Yeah, and I think that's a really important uh, point there, which I, I was going to state as well, is that, yeah, you know, try these, try the protocol, certainly try the protocol prior, but there might be some sort of variations on that. And I know the protocol, the, the, um, we're an advocate here, and, and it's on the Endurance website, is to space that out now for anyone who hasn't had sodium bicarbonate the real issues is actually gastrointestinal issues and if we put all that in at once we may not feel so great for a period of time whereas if we space it out it just allows that to you know get through the system without overloading that bit too much and long go back the days where you mix it with some water and <laughs> it tastes so horrible uh, it's like drinking seawater um but the, you know the capsules are working um much much better in that and that loading protocol as well to be able to um absorb that and feel okay now some people feel absolutely fine and some people it just doesn't quite agree with so going back to your point that you need to practice with it and you need to practice in the same way that you will do on the day because you don't want to be going into that feeling you know pretty rough and then may have psychological effects on your performance yeah.